So Etsy is a really cool place to sell online and to shop online. And I want to show you guys a few shops that are doing really, really well, that are pretty new, and what they're doing. So I'm Charles Curry from eShopMarketer.com, and uh, we run our own Etsy shop called Wall Decal Source. And we've been selling on Etsy for a few years, and it always impresses me so much when I see a new shop on Etsy that hasn't been around for a long time doing really, really well. So I wanted to go over a few shops that are pretty new, um, that haven't been around a real long time, and look at what they're doing. Shops that are making, you know, having a lot of success, making a lot of sales, and uh, and try and point out the things that I think are affecting their shop that's pushing them forward. So uh, the first shop I want to look at is Custom Bright, and this shop has uh, been around since 2014, and it's a jewelry shop, and it's really a nice looking shop. And a few of the things, uh, and just a real quick overview though um, of all the shops that I'm going to review today there there's a few key components on all of the five shops that I'm going to check out um, which is custom brights earth prism uh, prism line and Liam boutique and uh, jigsaw furnishings and Yoshim Yoshimomo Botanique, if I'm, I'm probably saying that wrong, but uh, they're in different categories, and some key components all of these shops are doing pretty well is they all have really good pictures. Um, some are better than others, but all of them across the board have pretty good pictures, and they all have About Us pages, which is very important, and um, I think most of these shops, I'm fairly certain these shops are handmade and they're real people. Um, it's not someone just trying to drop ship items and I'm not as familiar with these niches, these categories as some people might be. So if you sell, you know, makeup maybe or, you know, cosmetics, you might be able to say, oh, well, I know my, what I'm talking about and I can tell that's not legit. So I, I think these shops are handmade. If, if they're not, I'm sorry. Uh, but uh, and the most important thing these shops have though is they have really awesome items that people want. So let me go back to Custom Brights. Um, this shop has been around on Etsy since 2014 and one of the first things I thought was really interesting was the fact that they put so many keywords in their shop announcement. And your shop announcement is actually um, you know the first thing that pops up on Google search results is uh, your shop announcement. So it, it puts your name and then your shop announcement. So putting keywords in your shop announcement is a really good idea. Uh, you should have them in there somewhere. You can also use your shop announcement for other things, of course, like coupons. But if you don't know what to do, you know, putting keywords in there is a really good idea because it helps your shop's search engine optimization. It helps you get ranked. Um, I prefer to use it to put a coupon for everybody that pins my items. But you know, keywords is also another really good thing. Uh, another thing that I found out with this shop is that they duplicate their listings uh, for multiple keywords and they switch it up a little bit but you can see these two listings right here are both set up with um, and both of these listings are pretty much the same thing they're both these uh, gold bar necklaces and there's but there's two listings they're both the same price they both have the same options um, maybe there's a slight difference between them they're using different pictures but overall it's it's basically the same listing uh, but with different keywords they both start with gold bar necklace but they have engraved bar personalized rose bar and when you duplicate a listing and you put new keywords in it and it gives you more places you can appear if you don't have a keyword at the beginning or in your listing title it's very unlikely that your listing will appear under that keyword and and actually more importantly is not just having the keyword in your listing title it's actually having the keyword at the beginning of your listing title and on Etsy's recent SEO changes search engine changes um, for SE Etsy they actually said they put the most weight on the keywords at the beginning of your listing title so I thought that was very smart of this shop we've done this a lot and it's been very valuable for us um, and overall their keywords and their listings are well thought out uh, they don't have any things may on most of their listings they don't put stuff in there like sale um, I see a lot of people put putting things in their listing titles like sale or they even put ID numbers in there sometimes 
um, or they say limited edition, people don't search for that when they're looking for an item. They search for a keyword, they search gold bar necklace. That's a huge keyword and it's the best one they could put at the beginning of their title. Um, people aren't going to search sale when they're looking for a necklace like this. They, they might want a sale but they're not going to look for a necklace by going to Etsy and typing in sale. So make sure you put the keyword that people are going to be searching and that's a very important factor for this shop. Um, and something else that I think people really appreciate, and the more we've done this, it's increased our sales as well, is giving people options. So you can see here, there is a lot of options here. They can uh, choose how many characters they have, um, depending on how long their name is, because for this person, it obviously takes a lot of time to stamp each character, so they charge by the character. Uh, and then they also give you the... Um, the color option right here as well. So you can get the sil the gold option, the rose gold or silver and you choose your characters. Uh, then they also give you the length option. So if you want to go for those different options it's right there. You've got font and length. So people like options. The more options we put on our listings uh, the better we have also done and people buy it uh, by the options more than we would have guessed and one of these this is one of our most popular listings here and we just added these three different color schemes and they're not hugely different but it's different enough that people like slight little differences this is the default uh, with you know pink fish and these colors this one has orange and this one has pink again with a few other different colors things throughout and it makes a difference people think about it a little bit more they spend a little bit more time looking at your listing and they're more likely to buy it so another important factor is this shop uses all five picture slots I think that's always really important use it as often as you can show it on a person show you know all the different options there's there's no reason not to use it all show the font that's very smart as well uh, so the you know the customer can see exactly what the item looks like and uh, you know that's how they set it up so lastly that I thought was very impressive with this shop is how well they put together their listing descriptions it's very simple they answer all the questions uh, that I can think of about their item so they put um, you know how to order they talk about you know unusual characters such as these ones you can get those they talk about um, you know where do you want to center or do you want to put your text on the left right or the center um, they also offer discounts if you're ordering five or more they sh talk about what the item is going to be packaged in this is probably a reasonably popular item for gifts so it's nice to know what it's going to look like when it when you get it so talking about it there makes you know it, it answers that question if the person has it um, and they also link to some of their other items and uh, if somebody wants to buy I'm not sure if this is just going to one of these items yes so this is just the gold no other options this is the silver no other options so those factors I think are really effective one thing that I did notice with the shop is that uh, this shop section here is spaced out there's spacing between each letter and that looks kind of cool and I've seen a lot of shops doing that but there's actually a fatal flaw with that if these shop sections are your listing keywords so if you put spaces between each of the letters then Google and Etsy doesn't know what that keyword is because they don't read it with the spaces and uh, they, they kind of read that as you know 10 separate words each letter is its own word so that is hurting your SEO. Now for this shop it actually doesn't matter because that's not a keyword they're trying to target. Bright deals is just their shop deal. So if they were trying to do it and, and they I've seen a lot of shops doing this where they put all of their shop sections with those spaces because it looks kind of cool but it doesn't help your search engine optimization at all. It really hurts it. Uh, so overall I would not say it's worth it. It doesn't matter if your your sections are all caps or not. Uh, but if you space them out or put weird characters in there, um, that's not a keyword to Google. Earrings is a keyword, and they know that your shop is about earrings, uh, Google and Etsy. But if there's spaces, they don't know what the keyword is. So the next shop I'm going to look at is called Earth Prism. And this is a really cool looking shop as well. And um, a few of the things that I've noticed on this shop is they also have excellent keywords. They put 
Um, you can break up your keywords in your listing title with spaces, forward slash, um, you should break it up some way, slashes, commas, colons, doesn't really matter, dashes, uh, but they have really good keywords in their listing title. Uh, and like I said on the last one, they also have a lot of options. So you can choose your length here, and you can choose all of these different charm options uh, that you want. So the item is, uh, let's see, I believe it's the, the cheapest one. If you just get the cord with no charm on it, the cord's $4. But all of these charms cost different amount of, of money. Uh, they're all ten bucks. Most of them are ten bucks. Some of them are nine. But uh, giving people options lets people think about it. They're going to spend more time looking at the options. And people love options, so th it's always worthwhile to give people options whenever possible. Um, you know, and another thing that this shop has done very well is they've put really good keywords in their shop uh, sections. They put the entire keyword and I see a lot of shops where they don't put the entire keyword so if the shop is all about necklaces a lot of times people will put keywords like uh, gold silver um, you know gemstone rhinestone or whatever kind of keywords that would go along and they assume you know it's about necklaces but to get the best results you should actually put the entire keyword including necklaces so if I was looking at this and I, it said quartz or pendulum I would know it's pretty much going to be about necklaces because that's what this shop sells but for the best results for Google and for Etsy to really tell them what your shop is about you should put the entire keyword in each shop, shop section even if you have to say necklaces you know 15 times so hexagon point necklaces quartz necklaces pendulum necklaces and that is the best way to do it so that it's very clear to the search engines what your shop is about uh, that like I said before the shop sections are your meta keywords so you have uh, you know the most Im the most important keyword is your shop name but that one's harder to change the next most important is your shop section keywords and then your shop announcement so these are the ones that you can have set up and consistent you're not going to change those a lot you might change your shop announcement um, you're not going to change your shop name obviously so it's nice to pick out a shop name that has some keywords with it when you start your shop um, the other the only thing that this shop that I could think they could do better is put a, uh, a picture up here put their shop header because there's no reason um, why not to you know it there it builds your brand a little bit you can put coupons and offers in there um, and now that they have this logo section down here um, I think that would be positive so that would help their shop out a little bit and there's no reason not to build your brand a little bit put together a little header image and post it in there the only other thing I thought was cool um, or the other thing I thought was cool is they have a lot of really cool items and all of these shops you know it doesn't matter how good your search engine optimization is if you don't have good items people aren't going to purchase from you and these necklaces are really unique they're really cool um, you know these these rainbow quartz are really really pretty cool looking items and people are going to want to purchase that because it's just so cool looking they also have these really cool you know that's kind of a clever item uh, nesting dolls it looks like nesting dolls um, even though they're not actually nesting dolls but they're really neat items and people want to buy it because they're they're cool stuff so another shop that I have been following um, is line Liam boutique and this is a really cool shop and I actually know Katie and uh, she's been running this shop for a while and doing really really well with it and it's all t-shirts so with her shop um, you know a really important thing for every Etsy shop is being creative putting lots of stuff out there release a lot of items not all of them are going to be popular and it's hard to know what's going to be a popular item until you put it out there and see what people like so she releases a lot of t-shirts and you know if you can uh, you know talk you know if you can make somebody laugh or make a statement with a t-shirt that's people really like t-shirts that make a statement and this is kind of a funny t-shirt you know for mothers all I need is caffeine mascara and naps and the baby shirt says ha ha so it's a funny shirt it you know I can see somebody looking at that and, and think it's really funny and they want to get it so um, you know this one is rad like dad it's a cute shirt and it's positive 
Um, another thing that I thought was very smart of her shop is doing bridesmaid shirts. So this is a really useful spot because you can make a lot of sales in one order. And, you know, we were walking around town one night and we saw several bridesmaids groups walking around and they all like to wear the same shirt or dress up similarly. So um, selling a whole bunch of bridesmaid shirts, and these are based off of the bridesmaid movie quotes, um, you know, it's a it's a great way to take an order and instead of just selling one t-shirt, selling seven t-shirts or something like that, or ten or however many people want to buy. And again, she gives them options, you know, what color shirt, what color ink, um, and the different size options. So um, that's a, a cool way of doing it. If you can find items that you could sell in a batch, that's, you know, a, a really good way of increasing your order size. And she has also duplicated her listings. Um, you know, she's got her uh, six or more bridesmaid movie quote, tanks, bridesmaid shirt, bridal shirts, glitter bride shirts. On this one, she has funny bridesmaid shirts. Um, so duplicating your listings is a good way to get your listings into multiple keywords. And um, obviously you can't do that if it's a one of a kind item. But if you can duplicate a listing and change out the pictures, change up the keywords, that's a good way to get your listing on more pages. Your, each listing is only going to show up in the search results one time when somebody's searching something. So if somebody searches gold necklace um, and you have one listing that says gold necklace, it will pop up on you know whatever, maybe first page, second page, whatever. And then if they scroll past it, they're not going to see it again. So if you have five listings that say gold necklace, you might have a listing on the first page and the second page and the third page and the fourth page you know and they'll keep seeing your listings again and again and again and it just increases the chances that somebody is going to click on it and you know purchase it so that's a really effective way of doing it um, and she also uses the shop header this is you know a good way to do it tease the season you know put something in there that's catchy you you there's so many things you can do with your shop header you can put coupons in there um, we like to put a coupon that says uh, well this shop doesn't have it but some of our other shops we put uh, coupons if you pin our items we'll, we'll we've talked about it in our shop header because that's a, a place people see a lot we put a, a made in the USA badge because people on Etsy like to know that so use your shop header do something with it um, the only other thing that I think she could do better off the top of my head is that she could improve her shop sections a little bit and like I said with the last shop um, by putting the entire keyword in there that's the best way of doing it gemstone necklaces pendulum necklaces the entire keywords there this over here makes sense when you're in the shop women's and you know it's going to be shirts because that's what this shop is all about t-shirts but to Google they don't know what it's all about so women's isn't really a useful keyword it doesn't really mean anything um, kids and preteens doesn't really mean anything unless you're in the shop looking at it so if she did women's t-shirts kids and preteens t-shirts babies and toddlers shirts whatever you know whatever the different keywords are that make sense um, it would help her shop search engine optimization out so this shop, the next shop, Jigsaw Furnishings, this is just a really, really cool shop. The way they've done this is so impressive to me. So this shop actually has grown enormously well. They've made 5,900 sales uh, in about, uh, about two years total now at this point. And uh, they have been only selling one item. And, you know, I believe they make this item in their shop. Um, you know, they've got their shop updates here. That's another thing that I think is really smart. There's, you know, this is a new feature to Etsy. There's, you should use that. Um, post updates about anything you can, anything that makes sense. And they have a good looking um, about section. It tells a little story. You know, I think they could put pictures of their, their shop, their workshop where they make it. That'd be better too. Um, but talking about your shop is, uh, you know, it's a very important factor to um, Etsy these days so you need to have a shop about page and you should always make sure your policies in your shop about page make sure you get that set up properly on your shop so what this person has done is simply duplicated this one listing a whole bunch of times um, for a lot of different keywords and you can see here anniversary gifts for men Christmas gifts for men Apple watch dock docking station men's gift and they've duplicated this one single listing this one item a whole bunch of times uh, for all sorts of keywords so um, 
that that has allowed their shop to grow really, really well because they're popping up, popping up in tons of different search results. And like I said, the most important factor is not necessarily even the listing title. It's the beginning keywords in your listing title. If you have you know five keywords in your listing title, list uh, keyword one is going to be you know hold way more weight than keyword five in your listing title. So. Um, the other thing that I thought was really good that they do is their pictures show everything. Show So it shows you with a watch, a phone, a wallet, keys. It shows you how the item is used. It displays it really, really well, makes it really simple to understand how it uses, how it's, uh, how you can use it, how you can put all your stuff on it, where everything fits, what each thing is for. Um, and then they show you a picture of it broken down. This is what it looks like. This is what you receive in the bag. It's two pieces just like this. And then um, you know they show you the a little bit more detail of the actual notches zoomed in a little bit, and lastly they show you what it looks like when you get it. So it looks really really good, and this is you know very um, valuable for people who want to gift this item. So this is a popular item that could be used as a gift. So it's nice to know exactly what it looks like, and they show you it has really nice packaging. It looks good. Um, it's you know that's a cool looking package and it's great for a gift so uh, show people what your item looks like you should always use all five picture sh uh, slots show how it's used where it f where it's fit how you can use your items with it and so on and another thing that I thought was smart on their part is they have a upgrade um, if you have an Apple Watch because when they created their original design they didn't even have that or if you want to buy one now um, and you got it you could now also purchase it with this little piece here to get um, a chunk for your Apple Watch so you can plug in your watch and uh, I don't know if they have a picture of it I thought I saw one earlier here we go this one is uh, one with an Apple Watch so you know you can see instead of just putting the watch over it this actually has an Apple Watch slot with a charger on it so it works really really well they're they're fitting all the spots that their customers might want to have um, so the last shop that I want to look at is this one Yoshimomo Botanique I'm almost guaranteed that I'm pronouncing that wrong so this shop has actually made a few mistakes but the shop looks so good and it has such cool looking items that you just you want to buy it so that's you know going back to one of the most important factors is that you have really good items you know put a lot of effort into making something as cool as valuable and as neat looking as you possibly can something that people are going to really enjoy really care about and want to buy so um, her entire shop has a really clean style. It's very easy on the eyes, it's very pleasant, it's very simple to look through, uh, it's not overcrowded, it's just a, you know, it's a pleasant shop to look at. It's consistent styling. There's so many shops out there that when you pull them up, you don't know where to go because there's a million items and there are all sorts of different pictures and, you know, all sorts of things going on. So this shop looks so good. You know, her pictures are absolutely incredible. Um, and it and and you know overall her shop just looks so good that you really want to purchase her items if this is something you're in the market for and uh, a few of the things that I think she could really improve uh, is using all five picture slots um, most of her listings have one at max two picture sh picture slots uh, taken up so there's you know you've got five slots you you should always use them um, you know this one only has one you sh I think you know you could take this the the cream put it in your hand take a you know that classic cosmetic picture with the cream in your hand um, you know whatever put a picture show a picture of the back of the bottle does it have an ingredients list like most cosmetics um, you know show you know show whatever kind of pictures you can show all five slots it's always worth it to show them all even if it's the bottle from a few different angles why not you've got five slots um, or you could even use one of those slots to do a collage of comparable items and say check the listing description to see links to these other items that go well with this package so that's uh, you know a few things you could do there and uh, her listing descriptions are pretty good they're a little bit uh, you know they're not the easiest to to uh, get through but they're you know that first shop I showed you has just incredible listing descriptions they're so nicely broken up 
Um, but this one, you know, she talks about most of the items listed out. One thing that, another thing that I think she could really do better on is her listing titles. Um, I see a lot of this pre-order in the listing title. Nobody's searching for pre-order looking for this item. Um, you know, don't put sale, don't put pre-ordered. Put that stuff in your listing description. Also, she could improve on her her listing titles just by, you know, very, I, I don't know, I guess I'm not familiar with this, but I'm, I'm pretty certain very, very few people are going to search, you know, A, H, A15, high potency, alpha hydroxy acid moisturizer when they're looking for something like that, you know, 15% glycolic acid. I don't know, this isn't something I buy all the time. Maybe this is a popular thing and I'm just out of the loop. So, but it's it's important to put the best and biggest keywords in your listing titles. But this is really just an example of a shop that's making some mistakes, but they're still doing really well because the item is just so good. It looks so nice. It uh, is presented so well. The reviews are good. You you know, it's something that you just want. Um, one other thing I forgot about this shop is their listing description. So. This could really be improved. Putting such an enormous uh, block of text, it's, you know, people see that and they don't want to read it, they move on. So uh, break your listing descriptions up, answer the questions, make it really clear and easy for people to, to go through. You know, when it's broken up like this and they can scroll down and say, you know, they have a question about packaging, boom, now they got the packaging header and they can read it. You know, if they're wondering other stuff, um, boom, you know, it's, it's nicely broken up and it's easy for people to understand. So. Uh, I hope you guys like that, everybody. I hope this makes sense to you. And, uh, you know, go ahead and subscribe to us on YouTube. Leave a comment if you think there's any other shops that you think sh could go on this list that are new shops that are doing really well. And check out our, sh our website, eshopmarketer.com. Uh, and